so now I'm having to do another intro because I had to, I uploaded my first video, which was the intro. But anyway, I'm going to redo it. But this is the cat. So let's art. Okay, so this is my paper. Um, it doesn't really matter what size paper you have. You can do it a lot bigger, a lot smaller. I hope y'all can hear me. Not sure. I guess I'll find out whenever I do this. So, um, and hopefully you can see. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of look at our paper and, and notice that we have a top, bottom, sides. So I kind of visually split it. You could take a pencil and you could like kind of visually split it if you need to, to kind of know what quadrants I'm in when I'm doing stuff. Um, because I do do things in different quadrants. So like this is split in half this way and this way, and that helps you to kind of visualize it a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to start with a circle or an oval, however you want to do it. It's going to be, you'll see what it's part of. So I'm going to, uh, take my circle and I'm going to probably put it in the top quadrant, at least this half of it for sure, because the other part's going to go that way. So I'm going to start with a circle oval. I did a more like a circle. I don't know if you can see that really good. I'm trying, like I said, this is my first video, so it's going to probably be, have to be different, but uh, maybe that's better. Maybe a little bit better. You can see a little better. Maybe. Okay. So in that circle, uh, this is actually going to be the head of the cat. It's a number six cat. And now I'm going to do the number six. I'm going to start here because this is going to be the neck. This cat's going to be sleeping. But I'm going to come back and I'm going to do a big six like this. Now, I could connect it. I could have connected it here. It doesn't have to be, though, because you're going to see we're going to connect it with another thing. But you see how this is a number six? You see the number six there? So that's your number six. And I'm going to now uh, connect the head if I didn't. Now, you could actually have touched the head if you wanted to when you drew, but you don't have to. So I'm going to now put another little like rainbow shape or a smiley face shape here and then I'm going to do another smiley face shape here and that's the start of the cat now the next part I'm going to do is the cat's face now whenever you start with a cat or any kind of animal or anything that you start with especially if you're drawing it's best to do what's in front first and what, what I mean by that is what is um, in front of your What's the very first thing that you see? So, or you come to, like, so if you're touching an animal, whatever, you're going to touch their nose. So their nose is the first thing you're going to draw. So on a cat, I'm going to draw an upside down triangle. I hope y'all can see this. And then I'm going to do a rainbow shape to the right, or to the left, and a rainbow shape to the right. And then I'll probably put a tongue. I think a little tongue would be cute. So I'm going to do another rainbow shape in the middle, but down below, and it's going to be smaller because then I'm going to put a little line there to make it look like a tongue. And then I'm going to do the eyes. So I'm going to go up a little bit from the, the corner of the nose and start the eye. So the eye will start there, and this one's going to start here. The reason, and those aren't the eyes, those are just dots as my base. So I could do two different things. I could make it a sleeping cat. I could make it a, a awake cat. I'm going to do a partially sleeping, partially awake cat. So this eye, I'm going to start here and I'm going to just make a rain, well, a smiley face shape. And that could have lashes on it if you want to, to make it look like it's sleeping. You could do this on both eyes if you want to, because this cat is probably going to be sleeping. But I'm going to make an eye shape here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the same shape I just made, but I'm going to come back and I'm going to make another shape on top. And what that does is that forms a almond looking shape. I hope y'all can see this. I'm hoping it's good enough where you can see. So it's like an almond shape. And I'm that's going to be the eye. But I'm going to make like a lid. So I'm going to kind of come through here. Because it's going to kind of be partially uh, open. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to make the center of the eye. Which is the pupil. So I'm going to kind of make coming down like this. You can go ahead and connect it all the way down. It just depends on what you want to do with your eyes. And then next, I'm going to, I can add my lashes. I'll go ahead and add some more lashes since it's, I guess I'll make it a girl cat since it's got lashes over here. It could be a boy cat. It could be any kind of cat. It's just a cat. I like lashes, so I'm just going to put lashes. Anyway, 
we're going to put the pupil in and actually pupil for a cat is more up and down so we're going to do a triangle here not just the round we're going to do the triangle so do a triangle shape right there a upside down triangle like this one was this way you're going to do the point coming down the same way as you did the nose that's more like a cat's eye shape because their pupils are actually like slits. I don't know if you know that, but they're like slits because they can see, they have better visual that way. Okay, and then at the top, I'm going to do, at the top of this circle, and I hope everyone can see it. I hope I'm at a better, a good enough angle. I'm going to do a triangle and another triangle. And that's the ears. Now you can make these as big as you want. I could do another triangle on top of that if I wanted to have the inside of the ears. Another one on top of that. You can make them as big as small as you want for a cat. Cats have relatively big ears, but they don't always. I'm going to put a little fur coming off of here just by some squiggly lines. And I might just put a little flower in her hair because I think it's going to be, I want to put it in her hair. So I'm going to put a little flower here. And all I'm doing is that, as you can see, I'm going loop, 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 and a circle in the center. And then I have to do whiskers because cats have whiskers. So I'm going to put a couple of little lines of dots because they have whiskers that go in lines. Most dogs do too, I think, but there's a little different. And then I'm going to put some whiskers, which are just some straight lines. And you notice how I kind of push and then lift, pull and then lift, push and then lift, push and then lift, push and then lift. When you do that, you get a very fine line. I don't know if you can see it. But see how fine that line is at the end? And it's thicker at the beginning. That's that's a technique. And you use, you when you go, you lift, you're lifting. So you push or pull and then lift at the end. And it makes it a very fine, barely there line. Which makes it look like a little kitty. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do, I need the tail on there. So um, on my cat, I'm going to start back on this side because that would be where the tail would be. This is the back leg, by the way. And we haven't put the finishing part of the back leg there. but And the back leg could be tucked in all the way. You wouldn't see it. But we could also put a part of the back leg. But I'm just going to go ahead and do the tail. At the end of the rear would be the start of the tail. And it's just going to be a line that's going to go down. And then I'm going to come back the same way I went. But I'm... So I'm going to leave it a little thicker here and a little thinner here because that's pretty much how they taper their tails. And then I'm going to add some claws, which are just going to be lines, just some lines. You could do more than this. Like we could go back and we could make her a mean kitty and put some teeth. Well, not necessarily mean kitty, but you know, you could just put some triangles coming down here. Now, you could do your two eyes where you have one eye and one eye, but I would definitely leave. And if you notice, the eyes are pretty much in the middle of that circle. This is splitting the difference here and the splitting the difference there. I will do another video on um, uh, uh, faces and that symmetry and stuff. But this is basically our cat. And then from this, we could do a lot more with like backgrounds and we can do... Um, like designs on the cat, like I will do some designs on her face. I think I want her to be like a, uh, what do they call it, an M kitty? No, they just have like stripes, but not not like a tiger, but like just like some coming down. And then some off of her eyebrow. Put some coming to the nose. And I might do some little stripes down the back. And maybe a spot. And then a stripe. I don't know. We're going to just play. Today's a fun day to play. Mine's going to be a different kind of cat. And uh, maybe on her... I did actually have a cat one time that had these weird spots on it. And he was something else. He was a blush-colored cat. I must say blush. Uh, I don't know, like a beige almost. It wasn't really orange. It was more something else. But um, his name was Talon. And he had the weirdest markings but he had these weird spots and they almost look like that <laughs> and then on the tail i think i'm going to put some more stripes like a tabby would have maybe going back and forth sorry i can't see because the phone's in the way i mean i'm filming so that part of the film is on the way in the bottom of the line 
But anyway, you would do it just going back and forth like that. And these are triangles and they're pretty easy. And there is your cat. And I know everyone has their own cat. And everyone's cat is going to look a little different. And I, I think that's great. And on the next one that I do, which will be better, <laughs> I'm going to keep this cat. And I will probably um, just take the cat and I'm going to show you how to do a background on it. Okay, well, we're back. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope that you learned something today and maybe just enjoyed it. Even if it didn't turn out the way you think it should, you can always go back and try it again. Um, it's a very simple uh, exercise and I love it. This is one of the, my favorite ones to do. So it's it's one that I like to start with to kind of break. It's an icebreaker and everybody can do it. So uh, hopefully you'll have had some fun. If you need, uh, please leave me some comments. I, I always say that. I don't even know if I'm doing that right, but hopefully below you can leave comments. And if you can't, you can always email me at mimzy, M-Y-M-Z-Y. I think it's mimzy's heart. Mimzy's with the S. So Y-S heart, H-E-A-R-T at gmail.com. So mimzy's heart at gmail.com. And I'll try to put that on here, but I don't know if I'll have time to edit it because I got to get this video up. But anyway, the next video will be better. I do have an editing program. I'm going to try that. <laughs> Just bear with me. We're on this journey together and it's going to be fun. Okay. So that is it for today. Uh, we'll continue with the uh, background and stuff of the cat on the next one. And um, I just want you to have love, joy, and peace in your life. And um, just remember, you'll always be part of Mimsy's heart. Bye.